uh, the Eels versus the Bulldogs. Interesting that the Eels have switched things up a little bit. Obviously, no Mike Sivo this week. He did not hold up at the disciplinary, but thankfully for Eels fans, Isaiah Papali'i did. So there will be a debut for Russell on that uh, left edge. He'll be partnering Opacek, which, of course, means, again, no Fergo. Um, he's he's obviously uh, found himself absolutely on the outer at the Eels now. Um, so Blake and Hayes Dunster will be uh, featuring for what, fourth fourth time in a row now, their, their centre wing partnership. Um, Lusick, yeah, third, three, it was three or four. It was one of the two. Um, Nia Curry, Lane, Hipgrave and Roach will make up your bench as for the Bulldogs. Um only two changes. There is uh, Nick Meany going to fullback with no Wateni Lesniak. Of course, he's rumoured to be joining the Warriors and uh, has said that basically he'll take a wing spot if there's one going, which, okay, fair, fair enough. And then uh, Corey Waddell comes into the side as well in a 17 shirt. Uh, the Bulldogs are sticking with that Wakeham Avarillo uh, halves pairing. I mean, again, not broke, don't fix it. Uh, and then Thompson, Elliot, Dory, Jackson, are, uh, and Heatherington make up uh, your front row and your second row and your 13. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to call it Bulldogs fluked it last week. Um, I, what are the chances? I mean, you might as well just hit me with lightning at this point. If the Bulldogs win this one by 13 plus, hit me with lightning, okay? Because these, these things just don't happen twice. Um uh, I'm I'm back in the eels. I'm I'm back in the eels by a decent margin. Bulldogs, I don't think realistically make it over 16 points. So the only reason that I say 16, which is an oddly specific number, is just because I think that the Bulldogs will get over. I think it will probably come down that Russell Opachik side, just because it's an unfamiliar uh, wing centre partnership. They'll be feeling each other out a little bit and getting used to their defensive strategies. But um, yeah, I mean the Bulldogs, they've got some decent players to their credit. But uh, coming up against an Eels side, I mean, most of the Bulldogs' talent, realistically, is in their forward pack. And they come up against RCG, Paolo, Papali, Madison, and Brown. And then you've got Neil Curry, Lane, Hipgrave, and Roach on the bench. Just throw them in whenever. Hey, it's just not happening, unfortunately, boys. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go Eels 13+. plus. I reckon the Eels put on a good margin, I'd say. This game runs for 50-plus points easily. I don't think that the Bulldogs get more than 16 of them. Okay. I'm going to throw some stats your way because there, <laughs> there are a couple. Now, you said 16 points. In two of the last five games dating back to round three, 2019, the Dogs have hit 16 exactly. Uh, they went 12 in their only win in the last five at Bankwest a couple of years ago, two in the season opener last year in an absolute crap game, and 10 at the start of May this year. Now, in terms of over 50 points in the last five games, that has only been hit once, and that was five games ago. It was 36 to 16. Parramatta have won... Three first halves, two first halves have been tied. Parramatta have also won four of the five second halves. The only time they did not win a second half was the second game last year. In August at Stadium Australia, the Dogs 10 points to nothing in the second half. They still lost. Do I think Parramatta win 13 plus? Yes, I do. Do I think it's anything more than 18? No, I don't. If there is a 13 to 18 market, hit it with your best shot. It's the dogs, man. They're crap. But for whatever reason, they always, much like the Warriors, always show up to some extent against Parramatta. Now, they will target Sean Russell. If they don't, I question Trent Barrett as a coach. He's been good in New South Wales Cup by all reports. Good enough to keep Fergo out. We'll find out on Sunday. Wonga Blake, I criticised Brad Arthur a couple of weeks ago for him being in the side. I'm not yet ready to take it back, but I'm on the way. 
He is playing well. We won't say good. We're not there yet. He has a long way to go. But he's playing well. Joey Lusick. Wouldn't have thought Reid Marnie had been at the club. Lusick came in and it was as if nothing changed. Fantastic work. And we have the former Warrior in Nathaniel Roach in the 17, who is a very attacking player, who will come on for 15 or 20 minutes, can play 13 as well. Holy crap. Yes, please. And thank you. Near Corey, Sean Lane, who has been remarkable off the bench, Keegan Hipgrave and Roach against Sione Katoa, Dylan Napa, Arvasi Manafanai, and Corey Waddell. I would argue that we win three of those, and the iffy one is Roach and Waddell, we being Parramatta. So if I have to give you a tip, Parramatta 13 to 18, I would almost back Avarillo for any time try scorer, though. He has a knack. I believe he scored in two of the last three against Parramatta, including this year. In terms of a Parramatta anytime try scorer, I am running all over Isaiah Papali'i. You could also say Ryan Madison. Love those two as try scoring options. In terms of your backs, Dunster's due. Dunster is due. He's going to have to step up his running meters. He'll take more action. Potentially also means that Cottridge, if that's how the numbers line up, could come up against a tired Dunster at the end of the game and stroll over. Um, so if I was to throw it in, throw it in a multi. Eels 13 to 18 or 13 to 19, depending on who you bet with. Bet, you know, gamble responsibly, all that jazz. Cottridge. Anytime, Papali'i, anytime. If you want to throw Avarillo and Dunster, you can, but definitely Papali'i, defi definitely Cottridge. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go Eels 13 plus. I'm going to go um, over 50 points for, for the match. Bulldogs get under 16 points, under 16 and a half, sorry. And. Um, I'm not even go. For, I'm not even going to go for an any time. I, I think that I've I've loaded up with three there. And I think in regard, if I'm going to pick an any time, I I get a sneaky suspicion about Opacek. Um, I just think that he probably sells it and goes himself, uh, and the Eels go there. So throw that one in if you fancy. If you don't, we'll uh, we'll move on to the round's final game 